Hey everyone, it's Tiana from the Maniology team here at the, our weekly live every Tuesday at 1.30 Hawaii Standard Time. You can find us here on another nail stamping journey. Whether it's a tutorial, technique, or hack, we're here to discuss the details and we're so happy you could join. Hi guys, I'm back. I uh, got back from vacation. Hope you guys didn't mind the, the little break we had for 4th of July. Hope you guys um, have been doing well and um, welcome. So we're, we're live here and we're going to start a whole new series for you this month, which is super exciting. I feel like we haven't done a series in a hot minute, but before we start getting into all like the juicy nail things that we all enjoy here, um, just know that we also never want you to miss a Maniology Live. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you love our videos and remember to share our content with your friends, family, dogs cats, whatever, feel free to leave a comment with suggestions for future content that we could possibly get into. So go ahead and leave that in the comments. Hi, everyone. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I sound nasally and I also apologize ahead of time um, if I start sneezing. So I unfortunately caught a cold. We went on vacation, me and my family, and um, it was go, go, go. But my son got sick, my husband had a sinus infection, I ended up getting sick when I was I came back, so this is actually kind of the product. I'm kind of glad that we had a break last week because I really needed to recoup. So if I'm sounding uh, sexy, sultry, um, a little nighttime clubby, it's because I'm nasally right now. <laughs> so thanks for being here. So like I said, we are starting a summer nail series and what a perfect opportunity this is. Um, basically every week for our Maniology Live, we are going to be featuring another look um, in this summer nail series. So I wanted to kick off this series for the month of July. Um, for sunsets so i went to las vegas and then we also traveled to seattle and i just saw like the most gorgeous sunset so i felt kind of inspired to go ahead and do something and we actually have a lot of really cute plates um again these are inspired looks by a theme and so the theme is going to be sunsets with like easy silhouette patterns that i think anybody any of you any of us could easily do with just like a, a simple stamping plate um you can definitely add your own touch if you want to and kind of make it your own but let's just go ahead and jump right into it okay so i have my nail tips here let's bust out my lotus mat And let's see. Most of the colors I'm going to use today are linked already in the description. So go ahead and check that out if you'd like to, but I'll just kind of briefly talk about them. Darn it, you know what? Um, no, I don't think I'm missing anything. I think I got I think I got stuff I can work with here. Okay. Hi. You know, it's always so funny coming off of break and then kind of re reprogramming the brain for doing a maniology live. It's been a couple of weeks for me, so I'm like, how do I do this again? It's like putting on the training wheels. <laughs> okay, so let's kick it off. For me, sunsets, you know, they have the beautiful gradient, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And the way that I love to do a really nice seamless gradient is using makeup wedges. So as you can see, I have three here because I'm going to do three simple, very awesome, fun, but simple looks for you. So I love to use these makeup wedges. Always a good tool to have around if you are a gradient um, lover and you enjoy doing those kind of nail designs on yourself. And um, also make sure you have cuticle protectors because that's always really helpful um, to make sure that you don't get all the paint and stuff around your the skin around your nail. Don't forget to to do that part too. cover that part. So here I have a nail tip and 
just before we start asking and stuff, I actually have a whole bunch of nail tips, clear nail tips that, um, what do you call? I just kind of have laying around from previously. So these are not the press on nail tips, but they will do for today. Okay. And I tell you what I, I don't have, but I'm actually not going to get all crazy about it. I don't have uh, my paper towel, so I'll just make do. Make do without it. Okay, so this first look I have, oh, Primrose, Pumpkinhead, and Rave Babe. Unfortunately, Rave Babe and Primrose, you may already have it in your arsenal, but we don't actually have it online. So, which is so sad. I reach for a Rave Babe kind of often. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go ahead and open up my polishes and get those ready. How have you guys been? Everybody okay? Everybody healthy? Healthy is important. <laughs> Vacation was nice. I wish everyone was well. Um, we got to see a whole bunch of family. Basically, that's what this vacation was, was family. So to kick off this gradient, I'm going to go ahead and put some primrose onto the edge of my clean makeup wedge here. I'm going to add some, oh, actually, no, I'm going in with Ray, Ray Babe first. This kind of pinky, corally color. That's a uh, electric like. And please don't worry if you overlap your colors. You want to go ahead and do that anyway. So kind of helps the blending process. So don't worry about that. And we're putting on three colors. So I'm kind of just evenly distributing those colors onto my what do you call my blender my makeup wedge here okay and what I'm gonna do is I have just some scrap papers from my sticky stamper I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna blot my first one and what that helps to do is kind of just blend the colors together okay and this right here is why I love using the makeup wedge of course, you can do gradients any which way you want to. Whatever way is comfortable for you, go ahead and do it. However, I really love this technique because it just like seamlessly blends colors together. This is not fully opaque, so I'm gonna wait for this to dry. If we just keep going in, what's gonna happen is right, right now, I'm trying to see if I can, it's very smooth. But if I keep going in, I'm actually going to be picking up a lot of these little micro silicone rubbers that's coming off of this makeup wedge. And we don't want to do that. So we want it to be a nice seamless um, color that kind of rem looks like a afternoon sunset. So we'll just go ahead and leave that. shouldn't take too long then we'll go ahead and repeat the process okay now in the meantime while that is drying I'm gonna go ahead and grab another makeup wedge so you know me I like to kind of work in tandem just because we'll be here forever if we don't <laughs> so this next one I'm gonna do kind of like a sunset that's like closer to night but you can still kind of see the sun um so i got winter's kiss which is this beautiful kind of gray grayy blue and another orange and this is carnation which is like a softer um looks like an orange dream sickle to me And this one, I'm gonna get a little creative. I'm gonna um, actually kind of create uh, 
like a triangle onto my sponge. Something like that. So don't worry, it's gonna blend and stuff like that. So it's not gonna look like a perfect triangle, but actually I don't want it that high. <laughs> I want less of the orange and more of the, the blue. I had actually tried this with another color too, um, but unfortunately the colors were so close. I was like, uh, I think I can do this with two colors and make the process easier for all of you. So, so we're gonna go ahead and put that carnation into that little empty square there. I mean, triangle, square. <laughs> Okay, so again, taking this, let's go ahead and blot just the excess. And kind of centering it to the best of your ability. I'm just gonna do the same approach and stipple those colors on. Okay. So you see how it kind of has like a little, um, almost like a French tippy kind of look. Like I said, I didn't want like a perfect triangle, um, but that works. Okay, so let's put that on the side. Let's see, I think we're in perfect time to get back to our very first design because this should be dry. Again, we're doing this in thin layers, so we don't really have to, um, what do you call, wait too long because this is not um, like heavy polish. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the same process. Just go ahead and layer those colors over the same color pattern that you have currently onto the makeup wedge. So I just did Primrose, now I'm going back in with Rave Babe, and then I'm going to finish it off with the pumpkin head. Go ahead and overlap those colors. I feel like that gives the best effect. So there you go. We're going to blot first. Okay. And let's do the process over again, over the same colors. And just go ahead and stipple those colors over. You want it to have a smooth, smooth finish. So there you go. Okay. Hey Dev. So Dev was able to join us. Sound like there was some technical difficulties, but everyone say hi to Dev. She is on with us. Okay. Same thing with this. This is dry. Let's go ahead and do the same process going in with Midnight Kiss. So you, I don't wanna say you have to be like super, super quick about it, but you do have to be kind of quick about it because the polish will end up drying into the sponge here and you don't want that to happen. But you do have a little bit of time to be precise, but not too much. It's kind of nice too, gradients. Um, you're working on blending the colors too, so it's kind of how precise do you really have to be? I got some overlapping orange, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and do this process over again, getting that those colors to be a little bit more opaque.
Hmm. I feel like I kind of messed up my shape over here, but that's okay. Try to blend in those colors. Okay, that's good. Let me see if I can. Okay, so let's put that on the side. Wait for that to dry. And let's dive into our third gradient that I have, which I will be using, where is, okay. So I've got pumpkin head already. Actually, no, I lied. I'm gonna use carnation for this. Carnation, this doesn't have a name underneath, but I know it's Zinnia. <laughs> and this one is watermelon float. So on a clean makeup wedge, let's go ahead and open up these. I know how stressful it is to have, um, what do you call, technical difficulties while we're trying to, you know, do our lives. We kind of just have to go with the flow and stuff. So thanks everyone for being here. Even you, Dev. Really sucks, I know. <laughs> we, I feel like we're always trying to do our best and, you know, sometimes we just gotta learn to be flexible. I feel like I'm still working on that flexible one. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, you know, the gradient itself is up to you. If you want to do it equal, equal parts, this one, I kind of did a little bit more orange. Go ahead and blot the color. Let's do this again. Ah, you know what? I think my gradient i mean it turned out i forgot to blot that second one the one with the gray and the orange the blue gray orange that's okay flexible right wasn't i just talking about that flexibility <laughs> okay i'm gonna go ahead and cap all of the colors that I no longer need because the nice thing about this is the stamping color I'm just going to use black which did I bring I swear sometimes if I didn't have my head screwed onto my neck um Really, T? I did say I was gonna use black. Okay. I think I have a black that's around here that I can use. Okay. And honestly, I needed a black, a brand new black anyway, and I happen to have one. Okay. So this is dry let's go back in with that same sponge and do the gradient process all over again i love how you guys already kick off so many like personal conversations amongst yourself waiting for us to hop in on the live so i noticed that there are conversations about people moving in the dead of summer, I hope everyone is settled in. I remember those days. Ugh. Who knows, in the near future, I might be doing one of those too, but uh, nobody wants to move during the summer. And this one looks like a sherbet of some type that looks like it would be delicious to have right now 
in this hot summer heat. So let me just show you, this is what our gradients look like without any art, which look beautiful themselves, but we're gonna put some stamp, stamping art to it. So let's go ahead, let's cover these. shake up that black polish there okay so the first look I want to do let's do this one okay I'm gonna come in a little bit tighter and for this I'm actually gonna use a collab plate that we did a while ago okay and this is what Claristel ate and there is this beautiful kind of landscape here with like the sunset. I'm gonna use this design. Let's turn this off briefly. Cause I know none of you, none of you guys wanna really be. Well, let me see if there's another way I can do it without doing that. Would it be maybe like that? Yeah, that kind of works two different lights going on over here, but I think that will work. Let's try this. Okay, so using the black stamping polish, let's do that. Make sure I have a scraper card nearby. Got my summer scraper cards. I got my Summer Stamper, Ice Cube Stamper, I think we're ready to go. I'm just gonna do the whole picture, pick up the whole picture, but I'm not gonna use the whole picture and you will see why. Cause I really, really wanna focus on the sunset design. So you see how I actually picked it up this way, long ways. And if you didn't know, now you know that that's how, you can also use your stamper that way too. It doesn't really matter because all of those other pieces are not gonna even fit on the nail. And that's because I want to focus the sun like kind of right in that orangey kind of area. There. And actually, I am going to clean off the stamper head and I wanna put more birds, like another birdie flying over here. Cause I got birds on this side, but I wanna put like a bird over here. Get my cotton grabber, clean that up. those birds flying right in the center. And just one little birdie. And there you go, stamp right there. So I'm gonna do a few things. So. You know when you start to see like the sky turning like a really dark deep blue? I um, Oftentimes I see stars starting to pop out. So I actually have Luna here and I am going to take my um, detail brush and I'm gonna make some little stars in the sky. It's kind of like that really interesting time I'm just gonna put some on in the sky where it's like the daytime nighttime collide. <laughs> I guess that dusk. So and I'm gonna keep my stars a little higher up in the sky. Okay. 
and completely at random. So I'm just kind of using the point of my detail brush to kind of, oh, oh, excuse me, create some stars. I see Grandma Mimsy, hint, hint, maniology, mini outlet hub in every city, starting with Vegas. I tell you what, I actually went to, um, I know back in, I'm going to call it like some old school name, the, the Old Bells Outlet, the South. So I went there to shop, and can you believe that I didn't buy anything? I was like, what? In what? Well, maybe, wait, scratch that. I did buy things. I just didn't buy anything for me. That's really sad. <laughs> and I'm missing a color, darn it. Okay, so I have to go and grab something. Give me one sec. Guys, I'm so spoiled. Where I sit, where my desk is, I have all of the polishes behind me. So I oftentimes just go turn around, reach back, and grab for a polish. But um, yeah, <laughs> I thought I brought it here and I didn't. I just kind of grabbed it off the wall and I put it back. So I'm gonna go in with some liquid sunshine, which is this gorgeous kind of neon yellow hollow. Yes, Devin knows because she has to walk from her desk. If she wants any of the Ofish Maniology polish polishes, she has to come to my desk <laughs> to grab them. So she knows that she has to come and visit me at my desk in order to get the good goods. That's okay. It gives her an excuse to come and visit even though literally we are in the same room. So I'm going in with some of this liquid sunshine and my detail brush. And I'm just painting with my detail. Yes, I could have done this with reverse stamping, but I decided to do it this way because actually it's a really big open piece. So I don't really have to worry about it too much. Um, try and stay in the lines as close as possible. and I'll be done before you know it, so. Okay. And there you go. So as the sun is setting, the stars are coming out. I thought this was a really cool idea. So here is sunset number one. And that is done. You know, this plate is really cool too because there's so many different types of scenery. You know, there's like this uh, cityscape, you got forest, forest um, mountains and stuff like that. Really cool plate. If you don't already have it or maybe you do and you've just never used it, it's a really cool time to use it. Okay, so the next plate I'm going to be going in with is M215. And this is an oldie but goodie, but what I really want to focus in on is, again, we're doing silhouettes, right? Is this beautiful palm, and I'm actually going to be using two different plates. So it's this one, and we're also going to be going in with M387. 
and I'm going to be using a combination of different palms from this plate. But let's start off with this one. This one is going to be like the focal point. Okay. So again, going in with the black, our straight up black. Let's pick this up. Oops. I just noticed, I don't think, yeah, I missed a part in there. I'm gonna have to do that over again because the polish didn't fill in all of the palm frond. It's okay, just do the process over again. Do this again. Okay, perfect. Perfect pickup. And now we're going to go in with this here. And let's see. Actually, that doesn't look like it picked up very nicely. I'm going to do it again. I feel like I'm missing like the bottom part of the leaf. So let's try that one more time. Okay, look like it's scraped nicely. Okay, that is looking kind of strange to me. Okay, the first one definitely something was weird. Maybe, maybe I'm just wanting to pick up a whole lot of <laughs> detail. Let's try this again. Looks like it's filling everything. And I actually used this design earlier, so I know for a fact that has nothing to do with the etching. It's probably just me. So let's go in and I am going to put this a little off center and a little higher. Don't worry about the fact that the stump isn't touching the bottom because I'm going to take care of that. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with another palm. Let's see. Actually, I'm gonna go in with probably two different palms. I just ripped off the pa paper. Um, hmm. Let's do, I'm gonna pick this one up here. This one, let's see, I'm gonna set like maybe around here. Okay. And I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna do this. Eh, let's do this one. 
this little shorter one. So I kind of made like a little landscape, but I made my own custom landscape. So I'm going to grab some black. <laughs> Look at that. This is like the true sign of a no artist right here. Getting all messy. Okay. So I'm going to grab a little bit of my black polish here, not a whole bunch, and going in with my detail brush. A really fine detail brush. Okay. Get a little bit of that, and I'm going to go in and make my own kind of scape here. I'm actually going to elongate this trunk a little. I'm going to just make my own, just so, so I don't want my scape to be a little, too, or my land portion to be too high. I don't want to be even either. So I'm just gonna kinda create a little jaggedy squiggly line here. Okay. Going in with a light touch and just creating the line portion just like that now I think if I wanted to I probably could kind of leave it like that I think that looks cool but what I am gonna do is um, color it in so really light with the straight up black and the tip I'm just gonna lightly put some dots along underneath to the part that's gonna be colored and not all the way it's very wet so I can go in with my detail brush and just move that polish around and maneuver it how I need to to get that area colored in this worked a whole a whole lot better when I wasn't working under studio lights that evenly polished out <laughs> at my desk but doing this for you guys here kind of need a little more wetness i guess from the polish and that's pretty customary you guys wouldn't be doing this under studio lights unless you were recording this maybe for your own social media or something like that but for the rest of us if you're doing this on your own nails you really wouldn't need that so polish dried uber fast on me okay. and there you go design number two what do you guys think Let's see, I see a true sign of when you're actually wearing it on your clothes. I think we're talking about the polish and I do have to tell you for some odd reason, some really odd reason, I like to play a very, very dangerous game on my Maniology Live days because for some reason, I always tend to want to use white. And you guys know me i use a lot of black in i mean i think many of us use a lot of black in our stamping but who does that who does that the person that clearly does not care about their their clothes so i'm wearing an apron and i'm also wearing a white shirt um just a very very dangerous game of nail art here because one slip of the clumsy hand which 
I think you guys have all witnessed my clumsiness. Mm -hmm. um, dropping things, dropping polishes, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you would think I would use like nothing but dark clothes. I have dark pants, I just don't have a dark top. And I was gonna actually use a white dress today. And I was like, no T, that is, yeah. I don't often use white, but I feel like with the summer season, white is a little bit more, I don't know, my summery color. Other than that, the clothes are black. <laughs> so I should probably take all of the, did I? Yeah, there you go. I'll take care of that later. <laughs> Now for the finale. Let's go in. Oh, that is really off-putting. Let's. <laughs> it's like, oh, look, let me show you pretty nail art. And I got polish all over my hands. For some odd reason, that doesn't look any better, but it's okay. Okay, so this last one, this is gonna be an if you know, if you know. Um, uh, many, many, many years ago, Dev had created this manicure and I absolutely loved it, even to this day. I think it's like a perfect um, little peekaboo style manicure. And we have different palm fronds. So this is gonna require a little bit of uh, redundant stamping, which is completely fine the same color but we're gonna pick different palm fronds in this case I'm just gonna use this and this and keep it really simple but and we're just going to stamp on the I guess the around the nail so it kind of looks like a peekaboo in the center and I've always loved that look so with different kind of palm fronds we're gonna go ahead and do that design start over here and don't think that even though you only have that much left you can still use okay so we're just gonna go ahead and add these little wherever we can and you'll see I know it doesn't look like much but we'll just continue to keep doing that process okay Of course, we didn't have the lunch conversation. I actually had lunch before I live. I feel so responsible. I did the good adulting thing today. I did have lunch. And so I went to Costco. And you know how like they have the pre-made meals and stuff? Um, they have gyro meat now. And I saw that and it was so delicious and my son was nutty for it last he kept saying to me actually he woke up this morning and he's like mom are we gonna have the same dinner as last night it was the best and I was like oh uh no <laughs> we'll pick it up again but um yeah they had um, it was, yes, it was uh, lamb and beef, um, and it comes with six pitas. It came with the feta cheese, the tzatziki sauce, or um, the dip. Um, it came with lettuce, and it came with a tomato, cucumber, and red onion salad. It was the bomb. And, um, yeah, don't sleep on it. If you see it, try it if that's your thing um it was 20 bucks for the tray i we had dinner and i had lunch and um my my son is going to be really disappointed that i did not bring home any leftovers for him because i ate it all um but for 20 bucks can't go wrong that was like my my newest find Another thing, since we're talking about like the pre-made Costco kind of things, 
not to sleep on if you love bell peppers, but their stuffed bell peppers are bomb too. Um, with the rice and the, I, I think it's hamburger. I don't think it's turkey, turkey meat, but oh, super good. That one you have to put in the oven for a little bit, but really, really good. Okay, sorry, getting caught up in uh, food talk, but basically what I'm doing is I'm taking palm fronds and I'm just creating a border around the nail, as you can see, and we're just gonna continue to do this process. So we are repeating the stamping. Another Costco find that I tried out for the first time their feta cheese, Kirkland feta cheese is really good. Um, I'm thankful I, it, there's never enough cheese. And I actually had Kalamata olives at home. So we had a whole meal. We had a, a feast last night and I was so stoked because, you know, doing the soccer mom thing and I was so hungry. <laughs> But the Kirkland feta cheese is is also really good too. And I think it was like half the price of the one of like the better known, like better known brands. I don't know if it was like Presidente or something like that, but it's like half the price. And I feel like they give you more. Am I talking to the right crowd? Is this the Costco crowd? Let me know. Give me some hearts if this is the Costco crowd. Um, Costco is good. They have great things. I hate going to Costco on the weekends though. Seriously, and please don't quote me on this, but on the weekends, it gets nutty. I feel like I want to murder somebody. It's a little too people-y for me. I don't really, you know, being there on the weekends is not my thing. That That's not my place. But, you know, I don't really have time on the weekdays to, you know, get out there and do, you know, the shopping and stuff. So I have to go out where all the people are. And that, yeah, the weekends is just a little too people-y for me. Okay, I got other people who won't do weekends at Costco. Thank you. I knew I couldn't have been the only one. So I'm so glad that my my comments don't fall on deaf ears because <laughs> yeah, I my husband had to like bribe me with a cookie, some really good coffee in the morning and a nap. Okay, I think this is gonna be my last uh, palm frond here because we're looking pretty full. I think I need another one up here. Loving the, the jungliness of this and the way that it's turning out. Deb, do you remember this look? I'm sure she does, she's like. But you know, bringing an oldie and a goodie with different palm fronds and stuff. I love the way this turned out. What do you guys think? What is, oh, pet meds. Oh, Dev, our, our um, Costco pet sells pet meds. They do. You just gotta go ask. It's in the actual pharmacy area. And I only know that because I had to go pick up some medication over there. So, yeah. Yes, go to the pharmacy. I Okay, you know, we're just going out here and throwing, throwing, things but I didn't realize but Costco's uh pharmacy area like you can get medications that are cheaper than going to your local drugstore granted it's probably out of the way for you know depending on where you live and all these kinds of things but 
can save money. Like they have, and they also have pet medications there. I've seen like the, um, I mean, really, how many of our pets are actually taking human medication too? That's kind of nutty too. And I feel like the vet business when it comes to pharmacy, same things, but you're just paying for more money. But anyway, anyway, yes, Costco has pet medication. Go check out the pharmacy and ask them. Okay, so I have a lot of cleaning to do with this plate, but we are through with our sunset designs. What do you guys think? That turned out really nice. See, we paid like 54 for Lola's weight. Like, I guess it's like weight medication. We picked it up at Walmart and it was over 70 bucks. Yeah. Another thing to not sleep on at Costco. Do you guys have a favorite? One, two, A, B, C, one, two, three. Let me know in the comments. So now for this, all we would need to do is just go ahead and top it off with our smudge free. Of course, the holy grail of nail art, right? Which we could go ahead and do now. But here you go. Oh yeah, number one for bats, that would be really cute. These could be bats, they could be birds. Completely up to you. Oh. I know, before you know it, seriously, everyone, we're gonna be going into Halloween season and we're, yeah, you know how we do Halloween. We love Halloween here. And before you know it, it's gonna be Halloween season. Can't believe we're already in the middle of the year. It's crazy. But I think that is pretty much gonna wrap up our live today. So I hope you guys liked our sunsets for our very first nail summer nail series and um, stay tuned because we're going to be doing this all July so every Tuesday on Maniology Live we will be doing another look inspired by a theme of summer so um, definitely join us next week when Dev shows you our next uh, design and I don't think there's any questions right now I don't really see anything but you guys take care and have a wonderful Tuesday. Have a, a wonderful rest of the week. Stay healthy. Be happy. And go out and get some sun. And enjoy the summertime. Take care. Bye everyone.